So Tommy Doyle, one of two Manchester City's loanies for the Blades this season. I knew all about James McAtee and thought he was going to be the real top one of the two, but uh, you know the tables have turned. Tommy Doyle on loan from Manchester City, uh, just turned 21 this week, and we're here looking at how we feel about this loan, how we think he's performed so far this season, and do we have some sort of expectations for him long term and maybe for future seasons? Uh, when we first signed Tommy, uh, I must be honest, um, I wasn't didn't know a lot about him. I wasn't overly so sure. Uh, I knew all about James McAtee and thought he was going to be the real top one of the two. But, uh, you know, the tables have turned. Cardiff fans loved him with his short loan spell there. I know they were also looking to get him back on loan this season when they knew he was available. I believe he had the best stats for um, big chances created last season in the championship as well, which can only be good things for us. You know, I thought he was going to be attacking on the front foot. You know, lights got on the ball. I really went in with low expectations uh, because with lone players, for every Morgan Gibbs-White, there's a Ben Woodman. For every Dean Henderson, there's a James Wilson. And so you obviously can't even go off the, the club that they're coming from. Ben Woodman was Liverpool. James Wilson was Man United. You know, Morgan Gibbs-White was Wolves. So I had very low expectations because... I think that's the the easiest way to go into these things. I feel like he's done a pretty decent job. Um, you know, other than the fact that he has rarely played a full 90 minutes for Sheffield United, I think that Tommy Doyle has had a really, really good season so far. Um, I've called him uh, my man of the match in several matches, and uh, honestly, this guy should have multiple goals at this point. Um, he's kind of looking like Norwood, <laughs> except Norwood has actually put a couple into the back of the net this season. Um, Tommy Doyle, I think, is you know one or two chances away from getting his first goal for the Blades. Um, but on the whole, I think Tommy Doyle has been uh, a great fit in the midfield for us. I think he is a uh, really good John Fleck replacement. Um, there are some questions, uh, especially in this little bit of a, a bad run that the Blades are in currently, about the defensive side of his game. Um, is he going to be able to kind of put in that crunching tackle, uh, really kind of work from box to box uh, a little bit more than you know the passive passing fluid play that we've seen him have with Norwood so far this season. I think he's done really well since he's come into the team. It was a bit unfortunate he got that injury before the season started, so it kept him out of pre-season. Because um, I do feel on this showing, if he'd been involved in pre-season, I feel like he would have probably had a claim for a starting spot at the start of this season as well. So, you know, I feel like he is a very attacking player. He likes to get on the ball, can spray passes, likes to take shots as well, which is nice for our midfielders. And... Let's forget about the last few weeks with his set pieces because they haven't been brilliant. But, you know, from what we've seen from him so far, I feel like his corners and set pieces, dead balls, I think he's really good at it. He's probably our best in the team. I think he's proven to be a real good uh, addition. Uh, unfortunately, injuries have meant that he has got his chance probably a bit more than what would have been expected uh, when he first came into the club. My question mark over him is the rough and tumble of, uh, of the championship. Uh, he's definitely got skill. He's definitely got quality. It's kind of that Man City way. But how is he with the you know real blood and thunder challenges? Uh, that was the only question mark I had over him. Uh, but you know he's, he's held his own. He, he has held his own. He's, he's one of the first names on the team sheet at the moment. The best compliment that I could give him is it looks like he's been playing in this side for years. He just looks like a Sheffield United midfielder. Uh, he's confident on the ball. You see him always up there with the, the key passes, a stat that they're tracking these days. Um, he's already chalked up an assist for us. He's good from set pieces on the corners. And if you type his name into Twitter, you just see what the rest of Blades fans think of him. And it's just, again, wow, he's a master class. He's somebody that we should look at getting on a permanent. Um, every football team, us included, we're only getting older, so you really need to supplement now. Your Norwoods and your Flex are getting older. Your Berg is not going to stay here forever. So who can you bring in? Um, and somebody of the class of Tommy Doyle looks like he'd be a good fit. First few months of beautiful downtown Bramall Lane have gone, I think, really well. Uh, he looks like a, a, a quite a find. And uh, you can see why he's involved so heavily with uh, the England youth setup. He seems like a natural leader. I think they'll be looking back in years to come and say, wow, we had Tommy Doyle and now he's captain of England. You know, I could see him going that far. Um, for me personally, I think that even if John Fleck comes back healthy, 
it, I don't think Doyle is the one we take out of the side. I think some of our issues defensively just line with the back line and not with Doyle himself. Tommy Doyle has to keep his place uh, even when Fleck is fit. I think Doyle is performing at a level which is higher than we saw Fleck perform at towards the end of last season, of course, some patches of last season. But you know, Fleck in general, when Fleck's Fleck and when Fleck's at his best, then yeah, there's real competition there. But um, from what we saw more recently, and you, you know, you have that recency bias and you kind of go with who's playing well at the time, uh, Doyle's impressed me more than what we previously saw of Fleck. So I'd like to see competition and maybe it'll be a rocket up Fleck that he needs to get back to the John Fleck of old, which is definitely still, that player still exists. I feel like he's made that place his own recently and it's a bit of a shame that he is brought off so early in games at the moment. Like I feel like he should get a lot longer than 60, 70 minutes personally because I do feel like he's been one of our best players recently. So unless, you know, he gets an injury or, you know, he's struggling a bit with his fitness, I feel like he will keep his place. But also on the flip side, when we get players back, it will be nice to be able to rotate the squad and keep people fresh rather than burning out like we did last season. Yeah, absolutely he can keep his place. Uh, I think that he's shown more than enough. And let's be honest, Fleck is not at the top of his game right now. He's still coming back. He's going to have to work hard to push Tommy Doyle out of this squad. I think he's somebody that can play the Fleck role. But I think if, if Norwood were down for a spell, he could play the Norwood role and play alongside Fleck as well. Um, so I think he's going to be in the starting 11 for a time to come. I expect him to be. Uh, and I think we're a better team with him in the starting 11 as well. Uh, John Fleck's been great. He's been part of promotion winning sides for the Blades. Uh, do I see him as a natural successor? Fleck's picking up a lot of injuries. Um, yeah, I, I think he is. But the big question is, can we afford to sign him? It's one of them catch-22 situations like we've had with previous loan players. He performs really, really well. His parent club want him back. The price goes up. Have we got the resource in the championship? Probably not. If we go up a tier, get back to the Premier League, get out of this bad run and then get into the Premier League again, would we have the money? Potentially. Would Man City let him go? I don't know. I don't know. What is his price tag? Because there's some crazy, crazy figures. Uh, but all I'm interested in is doing what a loan player should this season. And that's a found solid job for Sheffield United Football Club. And early signs are, he's done that absolutely superbly. Long term, do I see Doyle as a likely signing? It's hard to say. Manchester City has him locked up until 2025. That is a big contract that the Blades are going to have to contend against. Doyle has a family that has played for Manchester City. He is a city kid born and raised in Manchester. So, to pry him away from that is going to be really, really tough. Um, I liken it to Dean Henderson. After two seasons with us, uh, two successful seasons, still wanting to go back to Manchester United and fight for a first-team spot there. If we get promoted, maybe a second-season loan to us in the Premier League could be on the cards, but I find it very, very hard to see Tommy Doyle as a long-term signing for the Blades, uh, given... I think the potential that he has and that I see in him and given the uh, the kind of the family heritage with Manchester City with both grandfathers playing for City. I feel like if we went up, that's probably the only way we could sign him permanently. I don't think we would be able to if we were still in the championship. In terms of loans, potentially if we weren't to go up. But again, if he's done so well two seasons in a row in the championship, probably Premier League teams will be interested as well. So... It's an interesting one. You know, I'd love to sign him permanently. I think he's exactly what Chef United's about and, you know, what we'd want to look for in midfielders. You know, he's got um, a lot about him and he's really young and a lot more growing to do, you know, so it'd be great to have a player permanently like that for us in the centre of our midfield. So, you know, who knows? Um, it'd be nice to see him back here um, and hopefully he can continue his good form. I don't think we will have the ability to sign Doyle on a permanent basis. Hopefully, if Sheffield United get promotion... Best we could hope for would probably be another loan. Maybe he'll fall in love with the lane. Maybe he'll want to if we get promotion to the Premier League sign. But he's a Man City fan. It's always been his dream, you know, with the family connections he's got as well, to sit there. I don't think there's any realistic chance. I mean, unless your name's Phil Foden, it's really hard to come up through the ranks of Man City. 
you don't win Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues. Well, they don't win Champions Leagues, but you don't win Premier Leagues on um, bringing a lot of your academy folks up, do you? you? You spend money on Haaland. You spend money on Jack Grealish, 100 million, Jesus. Uh, but you spend money on, on these players to come in. So as much as I love Tommy Doyle, I don't think he's uh, at the level of Phil Foden. I think that's fair to say. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Man City be willing to part with him. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tommy Doyle and his agent push for a move as well. Now, I, that being said, I think it all hinges on promotion. Uh, I think if we're back in the championship next season, that Tommy Doyle will not be a blade and he'll be on to pastures new because I think he's ready to be a Premier League midfielder. So with that said, really excited uh, to talk about one of our, our great young loan signings. I think it represented a really astute signing on the on behalf of Hecky and, and the board and the prince. So got to applaud him for that. And uh, looking forward to giving my two cents on other loan signings in future videos. Until then, up the blades.